Hello and welcome back to Richard Bozulich's Get Strong at Tsuji. Today we got another set of intermediate problems, starting with problem number 144. How does Black save his six stones over here? Black's move is to cut here, and this sets up a squeeze ladder. Um, Black will play here, attiring these stones, forcing White to capture, and then attire these four stones. And then it's just a ladder from here. Um, now the correct move is to block from this way rather than this way. Uh, because then this goes into a ladder in the wall there. Moving on to problem number 145. How does Black save these three stones in the corner? Black's move is to play here, which prevents White from taking the last liberty here because I would be self atari on those two stones. So in order for White to take that, White would have to do something like this. But then when Black plays here, these White stones are captured. If Black plays here, then White will play here, and this leads to a co. Again, we want to avoid co wherever possible. If black tries to throw in here, then when white captures, black will play here. This now becomes Seki. Neither player can play this move because it's I versus I. And so this is not a good result for black because he could have killed this outright. Moving on to problem number 148, black is looking to capture all of these white stones. How does he do this? Black's move is to Atari here, forcing white to capture, and then black can Atari these. And then after that, black will play here just to ensure that he has enough liberties and protect the cutting point. And now these white stones are going to die. And this has happened in a few of my games where white tries to pull this stone out here instead of just capturing directly. But black need not fear this because that means he can pull his stone out and now all of these stones are in Atari right away. Problem number 149, black is looking to rescue these three black stones of his. How does he do that? Black's move is to honey here and set up a squeeze. White will cut, and then Black will Atari, forcing White to capture. Black will then Atari again, forcing White to connect. And then, for instance, if Black protects his cutting point by simply connecting, then these White Stones are going to die because they don't have a whole lot of liberties left compared to Black's. If Black tries the attachment here, for instance, then White will descend, and now Black is going to lose this capturing race. Just uh, a variation if Black tries to go here, then White will push and Atari, throw in, and capture. Problem number 150, Black is looking to capture his two black stones right here. How does he do this? Black's move is to set up a loose ladder, and we'll show you how to do that. His first move is to go here. And when White pulls the stone up, then Black will not connect, but Atari. And then if White uh, presses down, Black will follow for a couple times. If white pulls this out now, um, it's already Atari and black will just capture. So white will need to capture this move. But then when black turns here, it is like a crane's nest. Um, white cannot connect because it's still an Atari and white loses. Moving on to problem number 151, black is looking to rescue his six stones right here. How does he do this? Black's move is to go here, exposing the cutting point and preventing white from getting an eye in the corner. Um, it also threatens to link up with black stones directly, so white will connect here to prevent that. And then to prevent the eye in the corner, black will throw in at the 2-1 here, and now black is eye versus no eye, and will win this capturing race. So let's say white captures, then black will take the liberty. White cannot play here without connecting first, but it doesn't matter because white can never take this last liberty without self-Atari. So that is it for another set of intermediate problems. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please like it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them below. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.